See me, I'm a GoPro Zeno got that coke flow Leeching for a promo You higher, but you so low Oh no, about to blow Only lines you making is the ones that's going up your nose Whoa, I know that you're faking and you struggle for them O's Keep on hating, can't get famous, so you pay him, but you short I know I'm white, come get a snort Whoever sees this and subscribes right now, get free deer corn I'm just kidding, stop cheating What's going on YouTube? It's Hoy Doxo And we're back, we're back with our reaction series So today, today, man, listen you guys know I've been busting my ass off these past few days. I've had so many drops and releases to get through. This has been on my list. This has been highly, highly requested. I'm glad we finally get a chance to sit down and break this one down. It's none other than Adam Calhoun and his Shook Ones remix. But before I get any further, listen, if you like the hat that I'm wearing and you want to support the channel directly, you can get yours now. Knoxhillmusic.com. Limited edition. While supplies last, I'll put all links to it down below. But anyways, anyways, know what we're here for. Adam, step back up to the plate. Let's see what you got. One. Uh oh. We're all waiting for that drop. Rest in peace, the prodigy, man. Mob deep. Ain't no such thing as halfway crooks. Let's go, Adam. See what you got on this, boy. Subliminals to minimal when you belittle me Say my name in the disc, be a man, die with dignity I picked up the pen again so you can start hating Everything I drop does numbers Smart Asian, albums chart high as fuck Part you making, dope ass white boy Stand in ovation, rappers Dope ass white boy, I love the Rastafarian accent he just threw on Obviously he's doing numbers, he's stacking them up high An Asian parent would be proud of the math on that If you want to calculate those statistics and then flipping it into the Jamaican scheme. I love how there's just like no ways in some, right? You always wonder when Shook Ones drops, like when the MC is going to drop in on this beat. And Adam dropped in at a point I don't think I've heard anyone else kind of drop in on before. Keep this subliminals to me. Yeah, like that kick hit, and he just kind of felt it, like just right in between that pocket. Subliminals to minimal, internal, internal, and then came out with the external. When you belittle me, who's firing subliminals at ACAL? When you belittle me, say my name in the disc, be a man, die with dignity. And somebody made a, a diss with subliminals on him. Interesting. Definitely firing shots, and you see it coming through the glass right there. I love the uh, the graphics on this. Picked up the pen again so you can start hating. Everything I drop does numbers. Smart Asian, albums chart high as fuck. Part you making, throw fast white boy, stand in ovation. Rappers suck dick, you think they trying to put their throat on. Do everything to make it, except write a dope song. I'm fly pressure, he ain't breathing, need a CPAP. My beard's so long, it's hanging out the ski mask. I wish Eminem would be back, he used to be dope, like a weed bag. Take a Xanax and have a relapse, I lose myself in the beat, flipping through my... Like a weed bag, used to be dope. Like literally doing the dope versus like being dope on the tracks and then flipping that i sit back with this bag of zigzags and this weed that gives me the shit needed to be so he's shouting that out like going back to that old classic eminem and then flipping it further man like a weed bag take a xanax and have a relapse i lose my and then xanax to relapse eminem's album relapse having a relapse on the drug scheme and then he's relapping on these tracks there he used to be dope like a weed bag take a xanax and have a relapse i lose myself in the beat flipping through my cds Big and Nas, they was always on repeat. Now Lil Nas X sucking dick on the TV and kids watching that shit freely. And you think this that eight mile beat? This that. Well, grab the shampoo. We're getting in the shower with a bunch of naked men here in a second. Kids watching that shit freely. And you think this that eight mile beat? This that mob deep black jungle concrete beat handle Ooh. concrete freestyle came. Oh, from I like that. That's right because obviously. Everybody from the 313, throw your motherfucking hands up and follow me. Was that Eminem's final freestyle in 8 Mile? But Adam's saying, you know, you hear that beat, and there's going to be a lot of just casual fans that are just going to attribute it to 8 Mile. Adam showing that he's a true hip-hop head, right? Because he had the lines before, he's shouting out Nas versus Lil Nas X, and he's trying to show you his roots. He's trying to pay homage to the roots of hip-hop and the originators of that track, which was voted... Wasn't it one of the best beats in hip hop of all time? Shook ones, Mob Deep, baby. TV and kids watching that shit freely, and you think this that eight mile beat? This that Mob Deep, and you think this that eight mile beat, right? Eight mile, this that one two, one two, one two. Mmm, love that little just switch up and just chopper right there. Back jungle concrete beat handled on street freestyle came from your dome piece, and I was out there chasing dreams with my homies. PTSD from shackle feet. 
like I'm giving out crack for free. White boys bought my shit cause I actually got roots in this bitch like a massive tree. Everything you drop miss like Shaq from three. Spark a lot, but wouldn't smack a flea. People say it's chestnut. Oh, right there, the tree into the bark scheme. That was smooth. And then Shaq, man, Shaq couldn't shoot, but you know what? That motherfucker could dunk. Actually, got roots in his bitch like a massive tree. Everything you and I'm gonna give him one too. Shout out to the roots as well on Black Dog. But my shit, cause I actually got roots in his bitch like a massive tree. Everything you drop missed like Shaq from three. And you just so like every single record that you drop, you're missing. It feels like because when he talks about the sublims and the indirects in the beginning, like there's someone specific that he's got in the scope, but it's almost like you're going to use sublims on me. I'm going to use sublims on you in order to fire back. Like you're not achieving anything with your drops versus like trying to drop dimes from the three point line. It's like a massive tree. Everything you drop miss like Shaq from three. And, and then obviously the obvious punchline there, the tree roots versus him having roots within hip hop and where he's from and telling you. Just bark a lot, but wouldn't smack a flea. People say it's chess, not checkers, they can't play chess. I'll teach you how to win, move more, say less. Mm. I've been a rapper, always be a rapper. You can never battle me because you can smack for trying to be a fucking rapper. I start I've been a rapper, always been a rapper. Da, 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 da. I love right there. He just accelerates through the flow again. He's having some really nice technicals and flow switches on this man. Rapper, always be a rapper. You can never battle me because you can smack for And then again, those lines like the tree to bark versus you're a dog that's all bark, no bite. Like you're just all bravado. Just feels like, mmm, someone's in the skull. More, say less. I've been a rapper, always be a rapper. You can never battle me because you can smack for trying to be a fucking rapper. I started from the bottom like the number in the fraction. And you just steady talking. I will never see no action. You ain't cut the s Started from the bottom. Not talking about Drake's bottom and, uh, you know, wheelchair Aubrey. We're talking about the true bottom versus the bottom number of a fraction. Break that down. Like the number in the fraction. And you just steady talking. I will never see no action. You ain't cut the same, I can tell by your outfit And you don't pose a threat, I stepped in bigger mouth shit Peter Woo. Pepper picked the wrong Pekka Would you play with the Pekka for wordplay Put respect on The PPP alliteration right there <laughs> No, I did not go number one mouth shit. Peter Piper picked the wrong Pekka Would Peter yeah, Piper picked just... the wrong Pekka Would Impeccable I love the word flips, man Adam is in a bag right now Bigger mouth shit. Peter Piper picked the wrong Pekka would to play with the Pekka for wordplay. Put respect on my name, bitch. Get ran through like a train, bitch. I can leave the day, but you'll always be the same, bitch. Ooh. Better rain, now you talking about umbrellas. Get ready for the rain, bitch. I'm talking about forever. For better, for worse, I love this verse. Go get in a hearse and kill yourself. Sell. For better or worse, I get in this verse. Da, 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 da. I love again that little just fast flow switch into more of a double time accelerated scheme right there. And then the rain, like he's making it rain with his numbers versus rain to umbrella versus he's going to bring you the pain and he's going to bring you those dark clouds if you really want that energy. But you'll always be the same bitch. Let it rain, now you talking about umbrellas. You're ready for the rain, bitch. I'm talking about forever. For better or for worse, I never this. Or he could make it rain. He's gonna make it spray on this. Now you talking about umbrellas. You ready for the rain, bitch? I'm talking about forever. For better, for worse, I never this verse. Go get in a hearse and kill yourself. Self, self, self. For better, for worse, I never this verse. Go get in a hearse and kill yourself. Self, self, self. This ain't a diss track. I ain't even trying. You'd rather see me and Ryan. Self, self, self. I don't know. There's a little bit of like a cadence bend there. I feel like there's there's a reference or two within this that I'm missing. I feel like Adam is mapping this out. So whoever he's dissing, you're going to know. Like if you are the one being dissed, you're catching these references a little bit deeper probably than me not knowing the background is going to sit here and catch it, which is, you know, how it should be written when you fire like a sublim like this, sort of an indirect instead of just directly calling out someone trying to give them that full clout pass that they obviously so desperately want. Adam is just letting a warning happen right now. Right? We're not all out on a diss war, but this is what I'm capable of. This is what I can do with my pen if you really want to take it to this level. Oh, and if you want to take it to another level and you're not really about that action, I'm about that action too. Self, self, for better for worse, I never this verse, go get in a hearse and kill yourself. Self, self, self. This ain't a diss track, I ain't even trying. You'd rather see me and Ryan kill each other like a pack of lions. Cause y'all yeah. just a circus, bunch of serpents. You'd rather see me lying, me lying. That's a triple. Go back and listen. 
and I ain't going back to Hey, according to Benzino, apparently we don't use entendres in hip hop. So I don't know if we can call that a triple, but let's think about this. Talking about a circus and lions, right? L I O N, that lion, the animal, versus you are lying, right? You're lying, want to see me lying, want to see me lying about all of this, want to see me lying like six feet deep on the track. Y'all just a circus, bunch of serpents. You rather see me lying, me lying. That's a tr You know what, Adam? I, I think you got a quadruple, homie. I'm going to give you a quadruple on this. They'd rather see you lie in, like knock it up and go to work every day. Be lazy. Circus, bunch of serpents. You rather see me lying, me lying. That's a triple. Go back and listen. And, I ain't and then I think the important thing too is this is not a diss track because he's not like directly name dropping, right? He's not firing shots. We're kind of changing gears. I think with the the Ryan situation, obviously the Upchurch situation. Again, I don't know the full story and the drama and everything that's going on, but he's clearing the air here and he's doing what an MC does. He's taking a wax, right? And he's speaking out on things. And I love how he's like, no, I'm not sat here. Like you may speculate that these shots that I fired, they're not for Ryan, right? I'm settling that dust. I'm going to let you know who I ride with, who I still respect on the track, and we're going to keep it moving that way. Go back to prison. I won't. That's a triple. Go back and listen. And I ain't going back to prison. I woke up this morning, prayed to God and kissed my daughter. Aww. Another day of living. I'm fucking living. Some yeah. motherfuckers will never understand rap, even if I hand it to you. Look at the look at the notorious B.I.G. on the shirt. Razor right. I love that man. Shout out to Dad Life. Nothing better. Greatest job in the world. I always say. I'm fucking livid. Some motherfuckers will never understand rap. Even if I hand it to you, wrote it down and ran it to you. What you gonna do if I actually ran it to you? Same dude talking shit and smacked and then sue you. Don't make me paint the town red like Subaru. I don't see the truth for views like you do. A couple bitch ass reactors. I like to see a list of your top ten rappers. If I'm on that shit, <laughs> I'm laughing. There's one white dude and the rest are black men. Y'all have been the rap, but we all been wrecking. Oh. Oh. Oh, now the tables get flipped in a different direction. Who's been talking naughty about Adam? Who's been talking on the slide trying to stir the pot with Adam Calhoun? Cause he's he's letting you know. And again, this is just this is just a warning. We're not saying specific names, but if you feel like this diss is addressed for you, then it probably is. There's one white dude and the rest are black men. And he's kind of leaving breadcrumbs there, isn't it? He? He's definitely leading like the suwu, the blood, obviously bloods in the crypts. He's gonna turn you red, turn you bloody if you really want this. But then talking about top tens. So this is interesting tactics from my perspective, right? Because he gets on Shook once, right? And, and we know any hip hop head can really appreciate the history of this track. I feel like it's like every MC's mecca to remix this, right? So it's Adam's time to do it. And then he's just laying out different things, different breadcrumbs, like talking about Nas, shouting him out, shouting out Classic M, some of the greats, right? And then he even has these lines talking about your top 10. Well, there should only be one white dude, and that's Eminem. So where's the other nine being filled in, right? Understand the roots pay homage to hip-hop and that's what he's showing but to me there's breadcrumbs because he's calling out some reactors like i think you're sus within rap i think you're sus within hip-hop i think you only listen to a select few group of people who would probably be in your top 10 but in most people who really respect the culture and listen to a lot of different rappers they know differently they know the art of the MC. So there's definitely like just enough breadcrumbs. Again, like I said, like don't mention the name, but just paint your words and set it up in ways so the people know who you're talking about if they're involved in the situation. Keep it rolling. A couple bitch ass reactors. I like to see a list of your top 10 rappers. If I'm on that shit, <laughs> I'm laughing. There's one white dude and the rest are black men. Mm. Y'all have been the rap, but we all been wrecking shit. Got a couple spots in that list like a freckle bitch. <laughs> Chef's kiss. I never thought. Got a couple spots in that bitch like the freckles. Come on. That was smooth right there. Hey, but you know what? There are some really dope white MCs out there. I'm talking about RA, the rugged man. I'm talking about Aesop Rock. Action Bronson, LP, we could go on and on and on. There's so many dope artists, and Adam is really going into attack mode right now with this pick. I shit. Got a couple spots in that list like a freckle piece. Chef's kiss. I never thought I'd live to see the day Chris Rock got smacked by Fresh Prince. I can only hate one man. By Fresh Prince, like Fresh Hand Prince versus 
Fresh Prince being Will Smith. I never thought I'd live to see the day Chris Rock got smacked by Fresh Prince. Me neither. I can only hate one man. Yes, sir. And I leave him leaking on the street. Freshman, red shirt. And it ain't Ryan Edward. Huh. Motherfuckers run their mouth so much shit makes my head hurt. Ooh. Again, that was a that was another reference. Oh, I just want to know now. I want to know who he's got in the scope. And then he's got a nice flip on red shirt. Like he's going to leave your shirt red and bloodied versus like a red shirt freshman. Like you take off your freshman year and you red shirt. Smooth little wordplay to end it, but it just makes sense, man. He came in with bars. He's going to end it on bars. But overall, I just love how he was no bullshit. Just straight into attack mode. Great flow switches. Great rhyme schemes. A lot of bars. A lot of punchlines. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When you take an artist and you put that fire in their belly and you piss them off, that's when you get the best art from them. And that's what I feel like we just got from Adam Calhoun. You were not so certified. Hope you guys liked today's video. Listen for some reason you're here at the end. Obviously, you enjoyed the content. Do me a huge favor, support channel directly. Subscribe, notifications on. Really, really does go a long way. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay positive. This is Molly Knoxville. You know I'll catch you again.